This is uh, from my childhood. These uh, two talking Daleks. Wow. Oh, man. Look at that. Like, this is taking me back. Taking oh. me back. They came out in two colours. Red Dalek. And this is the grey Dalek. I remember watching Doctor Who and seeing the Daleks and being so scared of these when they first came out. Yeah, you're behind the sofa still. So, what I can see is that there's a kind of theme running through here where you've mm. got the scarf. Is oh, these yeah. the only, well, only things Gosh, you've got in your no. collection? Golly, no. I've got a whole room full. So what's wrong with them, then? The grey one is a bit slurry, so it sounds usually a little bit drunk. That one, yeah. <laughs> right, and the red one here? That one doesn't talk at all. Oh, man. And then these go in there. They're very easy to lose, obviously, when you were a kid, but yeah. these fit in just... Uh, now he looks like a proper Dalek, yeah. yeah now it looks like a fearsome predator of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get these working. It would mean an awful lot to hear everything work as near perfect as possible. Now we're going to get it perfect, not near perfect, because he's drunk <laughs> yeah. and we've got to get him sober now. <laughs> Thanks right. a lot. See ya. You take care. <laughs> Neil first has to find out what makes them speak. This is the voice box of the Dalek. I've never worked with a voice box before of any kind. And aha! The disky thing is actually a record. The Dalek's voice box works exactly like a record player in miniature, with a tiny needle and a turntable powered by a small electric motor. And Neil's already honing in on the possible source of the problem. I think he's slurring because something in here is not lubricated properly. It could be these shafts, it could be the motor itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is some lubrication. And hopefully that will stop the slurriness. I've oiled the shaft just by putting a little bit of oil on my hands and rubbing it like yeah, that. Yeah, so we start to reassemble now. The record goes into the right place. Yeah, I want to hear it. I want to hear it play. Well, fingers crossed you will, but right. we're coming to the really tricky part now. I'm putting the needle on. Yeah. We've got to get that tiny spring to fold back so that it goes inside the top part of the case. I think I missed it. So here we go again. All done? I think he's back together. That's not a promising sign. These two screws, which hold the two halves of the voice box together, they're absolutely chewed to rags. The heads of the screws have gone. Basically, we've had it. With the red Dalek resisting the force of Neil's not-so-sonic screwdriver, he resorts to drastic measures, injecting his special solution into any opening he can find. We'll give it a good shake. The solvent will now have evaporated, so I've gone to my second syringe and I'm putting some oil on the pivots and keep our fingers crossed and see if it works. <laughs> This red Dalek has been silent for 10 years, and electronics expert Neil is on a one-man mission to make him speak. We need the oil to get in all the places the oil needs to go into, and the best way of getting the oil to do that is to make everything move that needs to move. And the best way to make everything move that needs to move is, of course, to put in the batteries and push the button. With their dulcet tones restored, these fearsome warriors can be reassigned to their quest for world domination near Wigan. So good news about the Daleks. <laughs> now, he's on hyperdrive. Isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> but even the red one. You need to obey, but apart from that, <laughs> you need to make the thing work as much as possible. Okay. So don't be afraid to use it. Use it and use it and use it. Oh. And the more you use it, the higher his pitch is going to get, so he's going to end up okay. speaking like a normal Dalek. It's so good to hear them both speak, at least. Considering they were made in 1975, yeah. Nike. They're doing very well, both they of them. Oh, yeah. really? I'm yeah. very impressed with that voice. <laughs> awesome, thank you.